Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds a number in minimum steps. First, let us understand the problem statement. Given an infinite number, line from minus infinity to plus infinity and we are on zero, we can move n steps either side at each nth time. First time we can move only one step to both ways. Second time we can move two steps from minus one and one and so on. We have to find the minimum number of steps to reach a given number n. Now let us see some examples. For input n equal to 10 the output will be 4 and for input n equal to 13 the output will be 5. Next, let us see the approach. This problem can be modeled as a tree. We put initial point 0 at the root, 1 and minus 1 as children of root. Next level contains value at distance and so on. The problem is now to find the closest node to root with value n. The idea is to do level order traversal of the tree and find the closest node. Next, let us see the algorithm. Let's take the number to be 3. So, we pass 3 to find nth number. Then, we create a queue and a structure in which we add 0 as number and 1 as level and push the structure r into the queue. Now, as the queue is not empty, we enter the while loop and take a struct temp which will point to the front element in the queue and dequeue the front item from the queue. Next, we check if the number part of temp is greater than infinity or less than minus infinity. We take infinity as a very large number as macro. Since neither of the conditions are true, we check if temp.number is equal to number. As it is not, we insert temp.number plus temp.level as n and temp.level plus 1 as l. Also, we insert temp.number minus temp.level as n and temp.level plus 1 as l. Since q is not empty, we continue with the while loop and now temp will point to 1 comma 2 and it will be dequeued. Again, the two if conditions inside the while loop do not get satisfied and we insert temp.number plus temp.level as n and temp.level plus 1 as l. Also, we insert temp.number minus temp.level as n and temp.level plus 1 as l. We continue with the while loop as the queue is not empty. So now, temp will point to minus 1 comma 2 and it will be dequeued. Again, the first two if conditions do not get satisfied and we insert children into the queue. We continue with the while loop and now temp will point to 3 comma 3 and it will be dequeued. Now temp dot number is equal to n so the second if condition gets satisfied and we print that we found the number at level temp dot level minus 1 and break. With this we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.